All right, now we're going to be getting into one of the advantages of using Civil 3D, and that is the volume tools. Now, one of the advantages of using the volume tools is, say, for example, with our brand new detention pond, our grading object, we can actually raise or lower it in order to balance our site. Now, what does the term balance mean, especially when it comes to the Civil 3D terms? Well, when you're looking to balance a site, you're looking to balance the cut as well as the fill that you're adding to the site. So you don't want to be taking away too much fill and you don't want to be adding too much fill just because when you're digging out a pond, you want to take advantage of all of the cut that you're removing from the pond and you want to take that cut and add that to the fill that you're using for all of the berms that surround your pond. So Civil 3D tools will give you the ability to balance your surface or in this case we're going to be balancing our pond. I'm currently in the 06 pond volume drawing which is located in your tutorials folder and the first thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at some of these contours that make up my pond surface. If I go into add labels and I'm gonna go ahead and add some contour labels once more go into the feature click on surface label type we're going to select contour single. We're going to change this to a minor proposed label. And then we're going to click add. Now I'm going to go ahead and select my surface by selecting one of the contours. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this contour line. I'm going to go up and click this contour line and this one. Now there's a reason why I'm labeling all of these contours for right now and you'll see in the future why I'm doing this. I'll go ahead and close this out and then I'm going to go into my sites then go into pond site, expand the grading groups and then select your pond grading group. Right click and select properties. We get our grading group properties dialog box. We've got automatic surface creation selected, so that's already created that. You can see that within our surfaces. But there's also an option to select a volume based surface. If I check this, it'll use the existing grade as a comparison surface for our volume. So go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to select this diamond for my grading group and then go into grading group tools. I get my grading volume tools dialog box. Currently it's set to selection. I want to select the entire group and you can see how everything gets highlighted. And when I look a little bit further into my calculations here, I've got a cut of this right here and I've got a fill of close to 3000 cubic yards. And I've got a net of about uh, oh, close to 1,700 cubic yards. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of play around with my pond. I'd like to raise and lower my pond just to kind of play with the numbers and see what they would look like. So if I raised my pond, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see my actual contour labels. If I raised my pond a foot, I would click this button raise the selected grading features by one foot. Go ahead and select that. And you can see what happened with my contour labels. It changed by a foot as well as the 58 is a little bit higher. If we lower this back down a foot, that brings us back to where we were originally. Now I can take a look at these numbers within the net and see what our balanced volumes are looking like. We've got a cut of about 1700 here. We've got a fill of about 623 here. And then we're right back to our original 1700 right here. Lastly, there is a way for Civil 3D to automatically calculate and do the balancing for you. If you select this button right here, and it says to automatically raise slash lower to balance the volumes, if you click this number, you'll see what happens. It might take a little bit of time, but if we auto balance volumes, the required volume, we want to go with zero. 
Click OK. Takes a little bit of time. You'll see how our contours are changed. And if you look up here at the top, you can see how we auto balanced and it raised the selection by 0.75 feet. And now we currently have a net cut volume of only 3.67 cubic yards. So let's see what our grades are looking like. I'm going to close this volume tools dialog box down and I'm going to kind of pan over in this direction. I'm going to go into my annotate tab and click on my add labels button. For the feature I'm going to select surface, label type, I'm going to select spot elevation for this. It's going to be elevation only. We'll pretty much leave everything at its defaults, then click add. I want to see if I click on my contour to select my surface, I want to see what the top of my berm is. I want to see what that elevation is at. Go ahead and select that. We're at 63.75. Remember originally we were at 63. Well, our volume tools raised everything automatically 0.75 feet. If I put in a spot elevation down here, we're still at a pond bottom elevation of 57. So that's how you can use Civil 3D's volume tools to your advantage when you're looking to balance your site, looking to balance your pond volumes, and you can use that to your advantage on your next project.